Hello guys, here today on the Rusty Glove Box, we're going to do a little solar power update. I've done a little extra work to it, added some additional panels, so let me take you over there and uh, show you all about it. Well, what I've done, I've mounted uh, six 100 watt panels on the roof of my little uh, metal storage building. And what I used was this uh, Unistrut, three 10 foot pieces. And I used the little Unistrut nuts and all that. Used the solar panel mounting brackets and uh, run all the wires up under there and tied them in uh, to my disconnect box and then went underground and over here. This is the latest one that I've installed, this one here and it goes inside and goes to my distribution panel. With the addition of the uh, new solar panels, I have another charge controller and uh, this one will handle 30 amps. These have the ability to handle 50. Uh, but because I've just got the six panels, uh, this one will be big enough, and besides, I already had it. Um, something else that is new, I got a new power inverter. This is still a split phase, but it's 6,000 watts. Uh, it's 120 and 240, and uh, it really has the extra power to really uh, operate more things at one time. And uh, so anyway... I was really uh, pretty excited to get that and get it installed. And uh, oh, this is a funny, kind of funny. If you can read that little sticker, it says, Danger, do not touch. This will kill you and will hurt the entire time you are dying. So I can't emphasize enough, you know, when you get 220 volts, you need to be uh, very careful. But all of this down here is a uh, 24 volt DC and the uh, 120, 240 doesn't fall into play till it gets up there. And then we go through our circuit breakers and all that. Over here we have the disconnect for the DC panels and all that. And this is for the uh, shed solar panels, this little box right here. And it's the disconnect for it. It's got a breaker in there. And everything is labeled on what it's for and what it does. So there shouldn't be any confusion. I say shouldn't be any confusion. But anyway, that is uh, the latest update. Uh, it's right now the batteries are fully charged. I have all my shop lights on, office lights. Uh, a while ago, I was, just as a test, I was running both shop fans, and uh, it, it still was staying fully charged on the uh, bolts. Now, you know, the bolts aren't the real story on uh, how your batteries are doing, but uh, they are still, they were holding good. And what I like about these charge controllers, they have several different indicators here and the their bluetooth you can access that uh when it's on float that means every everything's fully charged and so it's just kind of sitting idle idle monitoring the voltage and if it needs to give some more uh voltage to the batteries it'll do so uh when it's in bulk it will, uh, that's when it's charging. And right here on absorption, when it's getting, getting close to being to the float, it will go to absorption. And, uh, but you'll see these, uh, I have all these wirelessly linked together and these will blink and they'll communicate with each other. So, 
pretty pretty neat little deal pretty excited about it i've only got a couple other modifications i got planned for it but that's that's in the future and i want to get that done so by the time summer gets here and that way i can really run this air conditioner in the summertime so uh that's my update and uh We'll talk to you. So anyway, guys, I tell you what, I appreciate you coming by the shop today and checking out this new addition of solar panels for the system. And uh, it's really performing well right now. So uh, we're going to keep our fingers crossed that it keeps doing that. So I appreciate y'all coming by. This is Rusty Glove Box. Thanks for watching. And I'm out of here.